A motorcycle rider has been taken to John Hunter Hospital after crashing with a car on the Swansea roundabout. Emergency services were called to the Pacific Highway about 3pm following reports of a multi-vehicle accident. The Hunter is at the nexus of the energy transition with renewable projects and transmission lines proposed right across the region. One Hunter Valley couple says they feel let down by the state government planning process and now they've taken their fight to the next level. It's a picturesque property on the outskirts of Cessnock and a place Ian and Vicky Barry have called home for more than 30 years. But now the 80-year-old who lives with advanced stages of motor neuron disease says his sanctuary is under threat. The tranquility and peace in nature. State government agency Energy Co wants to use some of the Barry's land to host new transmission lines. Slated to run from Bayswater Power Station near Musselbrook down to Olney Station near Kurumbong. And crossing through the Barry's property near Millfield. Ian says Energy Co have failed to cater to his disability, now lodging a complaint to the Human Rights Commission. They've refused to let me audio record uh, the meaning. Ian says his disability makes it difficult for him to retain and interpret information. The couple say Energy Co have failed to adequately provide project updates ahead of meetings. On one occasion, I think we might have got it the night before, but on the next occasion we got it uh, 40 minutes before the meeting. So there was no time to even look at it properly and work out what on earth they were trying to do. Energy Co says it takes the health and well-being of landowners seriously and will continue to work towards a mutual agreement wherever possible. As well as being an eyesore, Ian and Vicky hold serious concerns for the environmental and health impacts from the transmission lines which would run directly through their property. Vicky says Energy Co advised that eco surveys would be conducted on their land. So when we questioned that at a public meeting, we were told that they'd probably use forestry's eco-surveys, but they wouldn't be ready for the scoping report. Energy Co says landowners will be compensated for the market value of their land, plus costs relating to legal and valuation fees. But Ian says they can't put a price on his paradise. This place became a sanctuary and uh, we love it. Um, very therapeutic for me. Angie Davies, NBN News. The Hunter Valley Rugby League community has come together this weekend to raise much needed funds and awareness for people fleeing domestic violence. Group 21 Rugby League dedicating their round 14 match match-ups to the cause with all money raised from the inaugural weekend going towards local support services. After decades of community advocacy and funding from three levels of government, the last section of the Fernley track is complete. Lake Macquarie City Council officially opened the newest section today, with hundreds already making use of the pathway. Connecting Adamstown to Murray's Beach, the final stretch of the Fernley Awabakal shared track is in place. Hey! You know, 27 kilometres, that's a pretty big feat and I think as a community we just celebrate it. You will never see this path without somebody on it. And despite less than ideal weather, crowds were eager to try out the latest three and a half kilometre instalment from Belmont to Blacksmiths. This 400 metre stretch is a focal point of the track, taking in the culturally and environmentally significant Belmont Lagoon. But building an elevated boardwalk over the wetlands wasn't without its challenges. We've had uh, issues with engineering, uh, we've had issues with the rain, it's been delayed. And then we wanted to make sure that we had that cultural heritage history involved in here as well. The track, now the longest active shared pathway in the Hunter, is hoped to attract visitors from all over. We're already known for our beautiful scenery, but having this picturesque 27 kilometres, it will mean that we'll be a tourist uh, destination. People will come here in droves to view this beautiful track. Montana Claire, NBN News. Dancers from across the country do -si do their way to Tokal this weekend for the New South Wales Square and Round Dancing Convention. The State Association choosing to hold the annual event in the Hunter to help local caller James Harrigan start up his own club. And the good thing about it is that you don't need any dance experience at all. If you want to get a little bit of exercise, get fit, uh, meet people, very social. The Shamrock Squares will start up from September 2 at Thornton. 
Hunter Valley winemaker Liz Silkman has been named 2025 Halliday Winemaker of the Year at the National Awards Night in Melbourne. It is the first time a Hunter Valley winemaker has ever gained the title. Congratulations, Liz. And looking at the weather for the Hunter, showers about this morning and more rain possible tonight. A top of 17 for Newcastle today, 9 to 19 at Williamtown, 18 for Singleton, 7 to 15 the range at Murrurundi Gap.